Good evening, everybody. I hope you are all keeping well. Welcome back again with another live show on the channel. It's Friday night. You Foxy know what that again. means? Yes, Petey's football live show is back again. Yay! And yes, we are back again for another two hours of craziness on the show as we always do. All right, Chibis is already getting pumped up by the sound of it for tonight's show. But Mason, how you are doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Good, good. I, know you're not staying, just... I know you're not staying on for very long. Because right. Chibis, you got ladies underwear behind you? To your, to your left. No, to my right. I'm sure he's... Oh, wait until he comes on. I'm sure he got... Oh. Okay. Aye, that! That looks more like a jacket. Oh, no, it's yours. It's yours. <laughs> it's man. Oh, anyway, what we're going to talk about on tonight's show, of course, we may as well talk about England, I suppose, and get it off our chest because oh, it was uh, right. really, really hard to watch Borgate football again. Uh, just absolute Borgate football. And we'll talk about the game against West Ham tomorrow because the Premier League is back. But yeah, you and... can kiss me off, by the way. Yep. So, and yep, of course. Uh, we'll talk other Newcastle news and football news that's been going on. Of course, the left chip has ran half an hour within the show. I wonder what he's got up his sleeve tonight. I know. I think I know it'll be on. Uh, probably you reckon, Peter? Yeah, I think I've got the feeling what you know what it will be. So let's see what he says on tonight. Then we've got you know what when we have an hour. And of course, it's all about a laugh on the show. We always do. So, yeah. So, you know the drill, guys. If you enjoyed tonight's show, remember to hit the thumbs up. It does keep us up those search results. And of course, please, if you're brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you really, really enjoy what goes on the channel week in, week out, hit that subscribe button. Free to do so. It does help me the channel grow as well. And the bell notification that will let you know whenever we are live or when a pre-recorded video takes place on the day as well. Feel free to join if you'd like to do so. And if you want to become a member for just 99p, hit the join button and you'll be put to the next price draw as well. And the link is pinned in the live comments to get on tonight's show. If you click on there, I will see you in the wait room and bring you on. Uh, okay. Uh, Cardiff are massive. Oh, look who else has popped in the waiting room as well. Uh, be a card if I'm massive. Oh, um, unfortunately, uh, Mason might be a little bit happier because, uh, unfortunately, but maybe not as well because them dot down the road beat them 2 0. Good evening, Lewis. There you go. And were we at the gates again today as well, Mason? So was Lewis. Yes, we were. Yes, and it was a Lewis, man. Oh, and it was a 1-0 win for the Heat as well, so we'll do it. Uh, David says, I knew we wouldn't do anything on the self to give after the Croatia game where he decided to play a tight in versus an Asian backline when Vardy, who was unbelievable, form was on the bench. Mug says, David, yeah, absolutely. Get two guests in, shall we? So, of course, mm -hmm. here's the crazy man, Chippers. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's back after no, a bit of time. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's me work t shirt, mate. It's not a pair of pants, it's a t shirt. I mean, there's quite a difference. There like, I are. mean, if they were a pair of I pants, I'd be worried. <laughs> yes. And look who's back. Who seems Choo -choo. to have a really, really fashion engine for trains. It's Lewis. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. How are we all? I'm fine. I will mush you like a tin of peas. i got to say one thing. Mason can agree with me here. That referee was shit today. It was. <laughs> he was one of the worst referees. Yeah, third versus Rochdale, was it? Yeah. Uh, mm. They did a couple of fouls. Nothing given. We did. We just touched them, went down, got the free kick, and they were rolling down like they were shot. But it was the good thing is it was a win for the Heat still. That's two wins on the bounce in a row. There you are. Chipper's face is so round, he reminds me of the man on the Prickles box. Jesus. Hey, I've got a bit more of a tan than him. That way, Jesus. And I'm pale, but come on. There, you, the only thing you're missing off there, Chippers, is the tash. 
Aye, the buddy hit that ash on the front. Uh, good evening, Pete. Looking forward to the show. Good to see you, Pete. Hope you're well. Oh, Jesus. I'm dreading tomorrow. Oh, we... No, only reason is because I'm working. Oh, uh, okay. That makes it well, good. Then. I'm working well, as well, so I'm missing the match. You know, guess you can't have to be at St. James's Park for. Is it very early? Half nine. We start off. Oh. I'm like in at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock oh, on, a, on a Saturday. Oh, shame, man. <laughs> well, then, we may as well talk and get into it from Tuesday, <laughs> Saturday, and last Saturday and Tuesday night there. And of course, there as well. Who should I start with? I'll speak uh, at half last. So just say uh, Lewis can have a see. I'll just do mine at half last. Okay, can fair enough. Uh, uh, well, go on, actually, go on, Mason. I only seen the sat the game, uh, and I just thought it was absolutely shit. He needs to fuck. He needs to fuck off the money United like, because I'm bored to death of watching self gear ball. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm just sick. I'm just sick. I'm just sick of it. Yeah. Hello. And I can't see anything about Tuesday because I was at the gates game against Hartlepool. Mm-hmm. So I uh, just shite. Who just said hello? Who just said hello there? <laughs> I'm thinking, where did that come from? <laughs> I was going to feel you ready for later on the watch. That's fine. What? Well, Contact Juju. engine at 10 o'clock, the porn no. version. Like, there's a YouTuber <laughs> who actually lives up. Just lives around the corner from me. Is he a fucking controller? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it Henry? Is it Henry? <laughs> no. Cam. Well, like, uh, I, I send I send the link over to you later on, Mason. Uh, good evening, Martin. Hope you're well. Uh, Scott says no manager coming and winning anything. It's England. Yep, absolutely. Uh, evening all, says Ian. Here comes Tom. Evening everyone. Oh man, not bloody England again. Evening all. Tom, and Tom, your, your, Tom, Tom, your comment on take the R but a certain pig G, that was funny. Good evening, Scott. You hope you're well. Anyway, speaking of, TD, speaking of uh, TDR, I was a winner on TDR Friday just before as well. Did you not see so... it? Oh. I was on about one jack shit because I got my question wrong. <laughs> yeah, the first question wrong. <laughs> I haven't been off for a couple of weeks, so I'm a bit rusty, to be honest. That's all right. Mourinho would be perfect for the England job, but he's not an FAS man. Wouldn't catch him on his knee. Uh, good evening, Rob. Here from New Zealand. Just finished TDR. So funny. Um, good, good, show, good, good, good morning. Yes, a good morning over in uh, New Zealand. Hello, Paul. All up your well. Squats, everyone. Score predictions for tomorrow, like. Well, we've done our... Too all. Sorry, I'm, I said well. too all. Well, we'll still get them in at the end, but we've only yeah. got main Mason went for 2 1. Well, I went for 2 1, Mason went for 3 1. Good evening, Julie. Good evening, Mick. Evening, team. Just get that clown Southgate out. Yeah, absolutely. And I said, hope you're well. Jordy Eaton, evening, Pete. Hope you're well. Imagine him on, though. It would be amazing. When evening, all everyone, how you all keep him win for us, going and Tina with the goals. No, bloody you must God. be Andrew. Must be talking with the Falcon, surely, because I mean, we're not scoring 19 goals tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just want to see before we start what's happened. Obviously, because I haven't been on for a while, like, obviously, what happened the other day in America with that container ship crashed into a bridge. Oh, yes, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. I want to still see so many condolences over. over there absolutely yeah definitely uh Mourinho, are you okay he's past his sell by date we need an attacking manager not part of the bus he'd be better marine will be better in like scour southgate do you know i'd agree on that point yes the roof eat bernican hope you're well again people more people just welcome each other into the live chat falcons wouldn't get 19 all season now and didn't think you would be here Nice to see you back, Lewis. Yes, he's mm-hmm. back. <laughs> Mason, you're on mute if you're trying to say something. Oh, Scott, I didn't see it. Scott, I don't know if you uh, misheard, but I didn't see anything about Mourinho. All right. No, I missed that, couldn't you? Because you're on mute. <sighs> uh, Scott Watson, seeing about uh, Mourinho for next England manager. Would you have him as England manager? No. Why not? Is he not better on Southgate? I'd have him. 
You probably win the tournament. Yeah. Mm. Aye. about me. I'll come back to that. Come, Mourinho is a cup manager. He gets the job done. Good, David. Good point there. Yes, really does. Good evening, Barbara. I hope you're well as well. So, yes, so, I mean, Lewis, England. <laughs> same old, same oh. old, isn't it? Yeah, just boring, paint dry. Mm -hmm. Just and, shite. Yeah, I'm obviously a bit upset if Wales didn't qualify for the Euros. It would be nice for all our league. Scotland, England and Wales all qualify for, for the Euros, but it's a bit sad. Will still in qualify? Yeah, just shame. Just the who cares, who cares, man? Just, we're in, we're in, oh, we're it's a bit of a line. derby chip as at times, don't you think? Well, oh, who wants cheap shaggers at a football tournament, man? Oh, man, chippers, man. <laughs> <laughs> La -di -da. <laughs> How would you feel if the FA got rid of self gave after Euros and Klopp and got Klopp with a mission to win the World Cup? Do you know what? I'd take that. I don't, yeah. Anything to get this boring manager out of managing this country of ours. Mm -hmm. Imagine our Bruce? football team. No, no, no. Even worse, Mason. Oh, no, Mason. <laughs> like, did I just hear that right? Someone, did I just hear someone say Steve Bruce? Mason did. Oh, no. Well, that's a Cardiff <laughs> fan, isn't it? Saying that. <laughs> we need to attack a manager with player. We have to see. Do you see? We do have. Do you see Jude? And Ford and Saka sat behind the ball for 90 minutes. Nope, absolutely not. If they get rid of Southgate, the FA will try and get Eddie Howe. But Eddie, I could always say no to the job as well. Whatever, we can't win the World Cup. No German would help England win the World Cup. But, I mean, no cabbage is allowed either, says Julie as well. <laughs> oh, Mason, yeah. I see what you've done with me, Name. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always remember when the Welsh players celebrating after we lost. Exactly. Remembers. Yeah. Exactly. Who was the better win ratio as a club manager? Bruce or Southgate? Southgate. I think it was Steve but, Bruce. Bruce mm -hmm. probably because he's been in charge longer. He's probably had more longer games, I'd imagine. But Steve Bruce has got care. the worst. I don't care. To be honest. He's got the worst win record, though. <laughs> Uh, good evening, Lawrence. Lawrence, but, you know. Lawrence is Lawrence is a bit late. It's oh, four hours, you know, three and a half hours since he Unless he's unless it's, because uh, the metros oh, not running. Oh, I don't know. Well, up until South Gosford, I but I'm not just the, that's, that away, reminds me to say if people are going to the Newcastle game tomorrow, Lewis, Lewis, people were now. Nah. Oh, come on, I know, what? but just remind them there's knee nah. metros on. Oh, the is an old plan B, says Jim. <laughs> Jim's got a good point. Would a crowd now want to manage Cop England? Copyright. The Bruce. <coughs> Copyright. Which one? <laughs> you drinking Coke Zero there, Mason? Yeah. Uh, Bruce puts Southgate perspective. Mm -hmm. David thinks get Neil Warnock in just for the memes. No. <laughs> Another one who's passed a sell by date now. It wasn't it bloody Aberdeen for very long. It's bloody uh, uh, old well, man. I, 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 uh -huh. Stevie Wonder would do a better job and <laughs> go Southgate. I mean, again, Lewis, I mean, go back to the game against uh, Brazil. I mean, Maguire, mm -hmm. terrible, chill well. It looked like the guy had flip flops on his feet. Mm -hmm. Gana Gallagher, I don't get the hype in him. Terrible. No. Um, oh, I didn't think Watkins did very well as well. No, yeah. I, I tell you something when Jude Bellamy went that challenge on Bruno, I thought, Oh, no, please don't. Please, I was a bit, I tell you what, it wasn't what he tackled. Him, <laughs> like, I, when Bruno was down, I thought, I said, Oh, shit, no, please. But he, he was fine, he was fine. But yeah, Pacatar was, was lucky, but Pacatar should have been sent off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, off, like. The only best players who played well in that game was probably Stones wasn't bad. Rice was Gordon. did okay. Forden did very well. Anthony Gordon. Mm -hmm. Bruno, really? did. Bruno for Brazil did well. Well, yeah, but <laughs> England again just 
uh, who came on with the replacements, Rashford. Um, honestly, Mason, do you see the hype in Rashford at all? Because I don't. No. I don't get the hype in Rashford at all. I really, really don't at all. I don't know it's why. Fucking shape, man. Why does what does I mean, himself get seen, man? Fucking hell. <laughs> why do people care about a country that's ignored and neglected? The North East England doesn't care about us. Why care about England, to be honest? Is Tom good point? Bruce Southgate, would you rather die by drowning or electrocution, <laughs> says Ian. Oh, Jesus wept. Watkins now at the national level. Stevie Wonder always answers the iron. Packet always kicking everyone. Trashford not good enough anymore. Uh, Gorn played well against Brazil, but did now in the Belgium game. I don't think yeah, he came on with a lot of time remaining, though. That was the thing. Yeah, about 11, yeah, about 11 minutes. minutes. Ridiculous. There you go. Shit, man. Uh, but did did he realise what Belgium kids were playing in the, when Belgium were playing England? No playing yeah. that way, kit. It spied off Tintin. Oh, Jesus. That's a bit stupid. What about the Green Potter for England? Manager he's better than Southgate. Yeah, good shout. Rashford did a Miggy one good season. He's playing Rashford to get Man United job. Would you take Green Potter to replace Southgate? Yes, I would. It says Fuggy Crack, I would. Uh, Rash Rushford is crap. Seen better in a Sunday league. And good evening to you, Robert. I hope you are well as well. Uh, up the year ones coming in, needing, even and all need a win tomorrow. Absolutely, we do. Um, we'll get into that shortly. Uh, but we're, st we're still going on about um, no. Uh, do you see the hype in anything in Rashford at all, Chippers, or not? I just see a bloke who can't beat a man. I mean, geez, as he came on and replaced Gordon, he couldn't get past the bloody right back. <coughs> and yeah, he's wearing sodden gloves. I can't be that cold. Honestly, bloody pathetic, man. He scored three goals in about six months. He scored a goal against Man U, and he scored, was it two? Did he scored, <coughs> was it one or two against Liverpool? He didn't score them goals. That's the reason he's in England squad because he scored them three goals and was a couple of games. No other reason because yeah. he's done now else this season. Um, mm -hmm. I just he should be going out doing these free school meals. I think personally he'd be better behind the counter serving <laughs> people then because he's doing nothing on the football pitch. No, absolutely not. Totally, totally not at all. Absolutely not. Yeah, it was. I, as I mentioned, I don't see the hype in him. Chilwell was absolutely dog shit, Mason. Particularly in the oh, first game. His game. shoot his kicking of the ball was all over the shop window. It was it certainly was. I mean what when I, it, 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 it's another player when I'll what does Southgate have seen him? Fucking hell. And a player who's I very don't think injury prone as well. I don't think he completed a pass in the two games. That's how bad he was. It was absolutely shocking. Well, I'll, I'll come on. I'll come on the rest of the stuff when I speak about that. Pass. I think so, uh, that's a game we need. Yeah, that just shows why Harry Kane is needed in this England team now. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah, I'm just. I just. I know. Like I paid so much money for me England ticket this, when the when I played St James. I'm still oh. dreading it. I haven't bothered. Going yeah, for it, like England what, at St uh, James's Park. I, I paid a bit extra to come in the paddock. The paddock. No. Eighty-five quid for me ticket and two pound fifty for me ticket to get delivered. Why are some <laughs> players putting those stupid holes in the back of their oh, socks? I know. I know Cram. why. Cram. Yes. <laughs> oh, Mason. What? Wow. <laughs> wow, I'm just. I'm just saying cramp. Cramp. I'm just saying cramp. <laughs> Aye. No, I thought crap. you said. I thought crap. you said. I thought, I thought no, you said cramps. Oh, cramp. Oh, cramp. I thought you were saying something else there, cramp. Mason. No, I was saying cramp. Egg, uh, well, fair enough. I don't make a joke about it. He's spotting on about making sure kids get fed. Yep. God. Could be a good shout for Club England. Why else would he announce leaving Liverpool early? Chilwell looked like he was playing with clown shoes on. If Rashford is on his way, on his day, way better playing on the wing or playing on the wing or striker. 
I don't know. Best love I saw were Man fans seen before Brazil game. Rashford was the only player with pace, shut them up. When I put PL stats going much faster, one one of the fastest wingers in league, Rashford's not in the top 10. Yep. I just, what's he doing? What does he do? Like, I mean, I just, I'm sorry, like, but Anthony Gorn's 10 times to play how he is, whether people yep. like it or not. Um, if he wasn't, personally for me, if, if Gorn was at a Man U or wherever, he'd be in the England squad week in, week out. And I do, I do find yeah. it odd he was called up at this time because he, he literally could, he was literally, uh, you know, he could easily have been had a career, uh, sorry, a season and injury at Chelsea, and then he gets called up when and then he finds out he's okay. That's that's mm-hmm. what I find baffling. Is Southgate's had all all year to call him up, he's called him up now. Doesn't make sense to me, mm-hmm. like, yeah, uh, you're just replying, replying to Tom's comment. The man you yeah. looks mint. Oh, um, Menu, aye, he looked very yeah. well. I thought actually. Mm. Like, obviously, I'm put something a little bit good for Lewis Smiley as well. Yeah, we'll get on to that as well during mm-hmm. the show about the injuries as well. Yeah, Mino was good in the first... He did all right for about 50 minutes, and then 55, 60 minutes, he started to fade out of the game like Tony did. So but it's a young lad. Him on long uh, but he kept them on. Why didn't he take them off? Yep. Uh, Rashford is talent, but for the FIFA fans out the air, he has low, low work rate. He has no, no work rate. That's what I mean. Rashford played sexually well when he wanted a new contract. Yeah, we were just uh, think coming on to him, and he did very well. Can you see us fighting strong to get into Europe every day's toughest challenge so far? It's all about the points come the end of the season. I think we just play Chivers, but when he stood up to the government over child poverty and kids being fed, that was superb. Do you know what? That was brilliant of Rashford for that. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I really applauded him like, about. But that's just, like, we're about that. Like, uh, like the food, every, every should be fed. I don't understand. We're in the tw- 2024 and there's people struggling for food. Like, yeah, absolutely. We know this, this is the problem. Like everywhere you go, but the northeast, the northeast by itself is the most deprived area of England. We know yep. this, and where's the funding? It's always in bloody London, for example. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Even quickly, in... oh. go on to Mason quickly. The fact is, right, Rashford did, Rash Rashford did grow up in the roughest part of Manchester, which. I've been told because by your granddad because obviously from young he said but uh, Rush, uh, not, um, Manchester is a shit all league some part of it that's what uh, Brian so good evening he why. says it just showed you why I've done it Brian says evening uh, off to Los Angeles next week to protest outside the Nickelodeon lot with all friends I used to work with interesting I know you've been messaging about. Miley has a lot of better stats per night than Manu, both defensively and defensively. Uh, definitely not. And again, you're replying to Tom's comment. It was free dinners when I was at school. Mm. He was apparently grew up in Withenshaw. Yes, he did. Um, which is still a, free school which, meals which now. Shit all. Which is a shit all league. Britain throws away over a two billion ton of food. Yep. Free chippers, but don't think it needs to reference Ben's being fed. But I know you, you said... Uh, the the performances for Rashford of England have not been good enough, Chippers. In a way, no, it's, he does nothing. He doesn't contribute. He doesn't score. He doesn't do anything. Tell me why he's not better. Tell me how he gets in the squad ahead of Anthony Gordon. Doesn't he's nowhere near the player that Anthony Gordon's ten times the player than of what Rashford is. Mm-hmm. Rashford's overhyped and he's overrated and. I'm sorry, he's just not the player people seem to think he is, and that this goes along with the Man U narrative of they're not the club they once were. People have got to be yeah, realistic about that. That people need to be brought, they need to be brought back down to earth regarding that. For me, they're a mid table side. Really, not... Worried about really. Oh, here comes. Hey, hey, there he is. Good for <laughs> everybody. So, I, I'll tell you, you believe the sort of thing you me send me. What? So, he's got a semi? 
<laughs> no, somebody send me a three duo. I'm going to send you it. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's not porn, Lewis. No, it's not. It's train porn, isn't it? It's train no. porn sex or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Is that the noise you make? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Manchester, Greater Manchester's a shit all out from Rochdale, and you find better looking turds, says David. Wow. Um, Where's the Granny? Granny, she's not popped up in yet. Hmm. Billy, I think Rashford needs to stay with Club Level for a while, and yes, off the pitch, he does appear to be a caddy bloke. Uh, it's William Wallace, says Patrick. <laughs> Mr. 50 Shades himself, he did Billy. Billy, international break over. Thank God, it's this, it's, it's just crap, crap again. It was hard work doing love watch longs for the two England games, I've got to say, because it was really, really slow, decrepit build up, really poor, really poor. Yeah, you know, you expect a bit of determination and, and drive, and there was none, none, mm -hmm. no, absolutely none. No, apart, apart from mainly in, in the game against Belgium, and apart from Gordon in the game against Brazil, you know, there's we've got Bellingham's technical fancy, he's a fantastic player, of course, he is, but I mean. Phil Foden hardly got himself in any of the games. You know, it was, it was, it was, we've got to find room to get him in that side somehow. I don't know if we're going to do it because I think him and Bellingham are very similar. Mm. Um, so, unless he, you tell him to play wide right and let, make him stay there or wide left and make him stay there, it, unfortunately, he doesn't do it. He, he floats around all over the place and gets in the way of Bellingham an awful lot of the time. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a Gerard Lampard situation and there's no way on God's earth. But uh, Gareth Southgate's up to that job, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's why we're not going to win the Euros with him. No, we've got more chance to win a new vision song contest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Rashford needs to be able to be a canny bloke. Yeah. Uh, well, up to Lewis, just for my point earlier, North East largely deprived more than any other region in England, but now gets done. This is where the cross of St. George means now. So glad football is back, says Brian. Yep, you and Billy want to laugh on TDR tonight, your classmates. Yes, it was a laugh on TDR. And I won a prize for the questions I got right. Well, that's what I said to a couple of friends. Like, why can't we just make like because obviously with Northumberland police, obviously it occurs all the way down to County Durham, like the border of County Durham. Why not make our own bloody country up? It makes sense. <laughs> Wait, we already have a we already have our country, well, Lewis. We live in England. <laughs> no, I was so, you see what I mean? If we don't get any fund, it means we'll make our own country. Yeah, I can see where you come from there. I was shocked to what has went up in Rochdale. Does David the CSE cover up is disgusting? Stephen says Kobe or Lewis. Lewis who? Hamilton, maybe. Uh... Kobe Mainy. <laughs> Kobe Mainy. Sorry to say it, but excuse me. What was oh, the was <laughs> You dirty what bastards. Lucy, <laughs> 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 jeez. No! <laughs> oh, I, I think he's got a leather seat. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, uh, welcome to the club, man. You dirty, dirty, <laughs> dirty <laughs> Oh, no. I do apologise. When I visit Newcastle to watch a pre-season game, I was amazed with how clean it was. You guys have a beautiful city with class. People should be proud. Cheers, David. Manchester has poor parts, parts of Rochdale, Order Manchester, but also very rich areas. Saddleworth, Altrinham, and or parts Stockport. <laughs> what? He can't get. It's like have a level seven on the show. Jeez, I was wet. He's better than four. What next? He's a city shades dog and well, Mary's laughing. <laughs> Lewis is just on a billy. Julie looks a bit. <laughs> the cross of St. George means down up there, Tom. What you got on a boot? Well, you know, Storm Lewis has hit the night, hasn't it? Strong winds are forecast at Lewis's room. I'm taking my top, <laughs> I'm taking my jacket off and wearing my hat. Well, he's taking stripper now, Jesus. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have the fucking window if I were you. No more fucking taking your top off. Exactly. <laughs> Go on, you no, okay, I'm Lewis. Just, I'm, I'm, okay. Okay. I'm just waiting for a knobby bob to do. Called the reports. <laughs> yeah, what do we make of Steve Nixon, interim sport director? There's been a lot of things about that. Mm. I think it's a good idea. I think he's doing yeah. a really good job at scouting. Yep. Yeah. Lewis was that like that century ago. Bring back Benicia. Anyway, half an hour gone. It's time for... Here we go. Cool. 
Go on then. All right. Um, this is my take on two nights of paint drying, or shall I say, watching England. Um, what the fuck? I just nah, my head's gone. Uh, I mean, we we as Newcastle fans have had a pretty shit recently, and my heads are a bit, you know. I was hoping two weeks England, you know, I might just chow us up a bit, but nah, head's gone. Watch the game on Saturday against Brazil, where Bruno absolutely ran the game for Brazil. There was like, there was literally no attack. There was virtually no tackling. Well, I see that one tackle that we that Bruno that Bellingham did he got booed for, which I found odd. And yeah, I was able just to tackle for tackle for as long as he wanted and get away with it. Um, mm-hmm. Was that on Schwartz? They got the referee, the Austrian bloke, on Saturday. Was it Saturday one? I think he was because he was shite. No, the referee on Saturday was. Joseph Fritzl. Austrian. Was he not? Yeah, Austrian? Oh, he was Portuguese. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday was Joseph Fritzl. Tuesday was Arnie. I, um, I just... I, the way those Southgate is, is as good as it, inspiring as a, a tub of lard. I just can't see how how like, how like people get up to play for England anymore. I don't. I don't get up to watch them. Um it's, I can see why like players like Ben White are saying no to playing for the country when you're playing like that bad. I just, I'm sorry. I just, how can we, we we've got ten league games to go, right? Um, I'm trying to be upbeat here. We've got a Newcastle side of it. I'm trying to be upbeat. I'm trying to think ten games, try and get ten wins. I know we probably won't, but end the season on a high and then go into the Euros or something to look forward to. We're facing the prospect of possibly ending the season with a damn squib and then going into a damn squib of England. Um, yep. you know the talent, the players that we've got at our disposal, as we've said for the past couple of years now, is is up there with the best of them. And but, I mean, with as a third in the world or fourth, one of the two, um, are we third or fourth? Because Belgium was the other one, aren't they? That we played the other night. I don't know how well whether we'll bribe FIFA to be there or what. Because if that's third or fourth best team in the world out in the last two games, something wrong with them. Putting uh, what you call it, um, really positions. Um, I'm sorry, I just, I don't, well, these changes are just crap, his, his lineups are crap, everything's crap that he's doing, and it, 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 it really embarrasses me that he fist pumped at the end of a 2-2 draw with Belgium the 94th minute the other night over in a friendly game. What does that tell you? I'm sorry, that's just not good enough, and... Listen, the players have made errors, don't made errors the other night. Chilwell's made errors in the past two games, which has been embarrassing to watch. But again, he's picked him and Maguire, who aren't playing for their clubs. And yet Maguire, mm-hmm. after the first game, was draws injured. <laughs> I'm sorry, but come on. How does that work? You may as well have played Shaw Longstaff there, who was injured, but now isn't injured, apparently. Um, I just, I'm sorry, like, and then you're playing... You, you bring Gorn and Madison on for 15 minutes on Tuesday night. But Madison played 15 minutes out of 180 minutes. What what good's that? If you're going to play him, play him for one of the two games. It's just like, I don't get it. Ollie Watkins played the full 90 minutes on uh, Saturday, did nothing. And yet he still came on the other night and played 20 minutes. He didn't deserve to on Saturday night, so in my opinion, Tony should have got the full game. Play, give them the full game each. I just... I'm sorry. Oh, how can you get excited? How can you get excited for that? That's we've got no that. apparently no left. No, nah, we've apparently got no left backs. Apparently got no right backs yet. But our previous squad, he called up four right backs. I just, I'm sorry, but why is he playing Pickford as well? We all know what Pickford's capable of. So give another keeper a chance because eventually, if Pickford gets injured, we're going to have to rely on another goalkeeper. Yep. Oh, it's just so. <laughs> Fucking pathetic. It's just embarrassing, man. Literally on Tuesday night, I fell asleep watching that. Uh, my mum came in my room told us to stop snoring, so that's how bad we were. <laughs> <laughs> that's how bad we were. Um, it's like, there was no urgency though, because there was only urgency when Gorn came on the pitch. That was the urgency in the last 15 minutes. And, oh, it's difficult. How can you be a positive going into a tournament like that? And you'd probably still know likes of Calvin Phillips so will probably still be in the coming in the tournament, they'll probably still get selected. He will. Yeah, I'm Henderson. Just, yeah, Henderson was sitting I'm, on the bench for two Dunkel. games. Lewis Dunkworth yeah. as well. He'll be he'll be on the he should be now in the other squad after that performance change. No. no. The best centre half England's got is Tamori, and he doesn't get in the squad now. Yeah. It's ridiculous. 
He's just won the league title with Milan. He doesn't even get in the squad. I mean, you know, he's just playing for the best team in his league. It's a joke. And for somebody who was an ex centre half as well, you should know better. Gareth Southgate, considering that's an area that, you know, and like we've got a good enough, like as Billy said, I don't think Bellum and Fulton can play in the mid same team either because they're both the same player. And to leave one of them out for me, and then you would play a natural winger, like Gorn, for example, on the, on the wing. Um, yeah. I mean, he called Harry Kane up, but he was injured. So why do you call somebody up who's injured? I mean, this makes no sense. Um, we, we were lucky Gordon escaped injury because I would have been fuming if he called Gordon up knowing he got an injury at Chelsea on the Monday and then called him up later in the week to play that. But mm-hmm. I am so... I'm not bothered about the Euros anymore. I'll watch it, but I'm not going to really say, come on, England, or anything like that because I want you get excited for it. I can't. Just bang average. Uh. And also, and goes with, as he said, when, obviously with the Euros and that, just think we've got a massive year summer of sport. Obviously, you got the Euros, we got the Olympics, and we got the Paralympics as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only Are thing. You died in the background, Mason. No. Which is, which <laughs> I'm going to shoot. All right, no problem, Mason. Okay, then. See you, Mason. Is it Paul Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are you sure? <laughs> Just saying I can see you on. Last time. Oh, okay, then. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I'm up to with my comments, because uh, where I'm up to with the comments. Where am I up to? Uh, crosswinds blow. Needs to be received. George up with Steve Cuff, but sell them pumps on holy fat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy man. Here's the thing. <laughs> he bur- he burps in every video now. You noticed? No. <laughs> he? Yeah. he fucking does, huh? He looks like now. Here's no, the really thing. Really. I beg me pudding. Now I will join soon. Says Archer. <laughs> Bernie said, "Do you run? We'll have lost the back of Scotland too." Archer, there's plenty of win in the air as it is. See so all the North East results of people who I know. Some of us just scored for Leeds. I didn't say I speak for me. Our packet is in his day tomorrow. To the Humber. I will not watching the England games anymore. Southgate has killed any buzz I have. Probably a brutal quite a love in. Watford 1 0. Now you said we are deprived in the England fans means now that that's not true. Who's more incompetent, Southgate or the FA? It's a close one. Well, it's the FA. They employed the twat in the first place. Yeah, they did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Question, should Joe Willick get a call-up for the Euros? Yeah. yeah he's in the wrong position. Too many good midfielders. Mm-hmm. We need defenders. Call cool Dan Burn up, then. <laughs> oh. oh but... <laughs> no more direct than Willikino. One for Billy Southgate went on Fantasy Island and his fantasy was to be a good manager. Mr. Rogue said, I cannot even do that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he kind of got that injured, then it would have been an argument there. Hi, all. Yeah, I hope you're well. Still changed, Julie. If Callum Wilson was fit, he would have been ahead of Ivan Tony Watkins. Yeah, probably would have been. Italy is too far for Southgate chippers. Really spotting about Tamori Taxi, disgusting snub for Slabby. It was actually was calamity. He was shit. Against Belgium, he was shit. He wasn't as bad as Dunk, though, was he? Don't make Dunk no. against fucking Belgium. Absolutely God. horrific. And the thing is, this is where Southgate obviously doesn't do his homework. You look to, to a week before, Brighton got took to the cleaners by Roma, and yeah. Lukaku took Dunk to the cleaners in that game. Mm. And yet, playing against Lukaku on Tuesday night, Lewis Dunk's in. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, guys. Atomic Kit will come out and sing Southgate. You as well. Oh, you still turn me on, says Brian. Do you know as well. If yeah. Southgate did his homework, you would have seen Harry Maguire played as a striker for Manu the week before he into Liverpool as well. So he's playing on audition, mm-hmm. playing as a centre back. Yeah. You may say not be still yeah, Mason. England's best centre back, Brave. Braithwaite and Tamori. Yeah. Oh, I think Stones and Tamori personally, but Brantwaite, he should have been given the chance, shouldn't he? In the background. Mm-hmm. Why call him up? They're not using. What's the point? Exactly. Is it me or has Lewis been on the pie since he was last on? Right, Bean. No, I had. Uh, for my <laughs> tea tonight, I had like a. a Lasagna. Yeah. Okay. Fuck control as ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
<laughs> that game proves the three lads under the bus with them penalties a few years back and should have went after that. He should have. So agree. Yeah, but we've seen who one of the players were is now. Saka, who's like one of the best players in the world. <laughs> this is like being at a Scotchy club before the smoke and bang and at the toilet for fuck's sake, says Dave. Good evening, Chris. Hope you're well. Thought in both games, phone was poor when he played on the left better when he went to write one to pick for Euros would be Tino could play either side. Well, Chris, it's going to be an easy stuff for you tomorrow, isn't it? Yep. Billy, you fancy playing centre-back, you'd be better than the shite we got. Well, I've retired, unfortunately, Jabba. No. Oh, you got my message, Pete? Yes, I did, Jabba. Uh, did your friends all go green for your lasagna, Lewis? Nice one, Tom. <laughs> Nobody gets that, do they? Well, I'm just going to play. I'm just going to beat myself because I'm going to just play what Yabba's just sent me. So just bear with Chelsea Monty says a moment. Well, that's 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 the lyrics from Diggs's Diner. On, on definitely maybe. What a life it would be. You can come for mine for tea. I'll pick you up at half past three. We'll have lasagna. For tea? <laughs> for tea, Paul. <laughs> I give you strawberries and cream, and your friends will all go green for my lasagna. <laughs> These could be the best days of our life. <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyway, I'm going to upload what Yabba's just sent me, so it is quite funny a little bit. And um, Peter, do you, send, day with me. you see what I sent you as no. well? Yes, I've seen it. Uh, Newcastle's <laughs> medical team. Someone kicks the ball and it just hits the bloke's head and he gants down like he's been shot by a sniper. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you kick a ball off short long stuff, so like he gants do like he's been shot like a sniper. <laughs> so it's not yeah, far off. Right? Kind of <laughs> against one of the worst Belgium sides I've seen we've entered the Euros, I would be surprised if a random team knocks us out like Iceland did. I remember that uh, when Iceland oh, took us out the Euros. Oh, what's just, what's just beamed at me? What just beamed at me? As that will this, yeah. The Welsh. Uh, it's Lewis. not actually to you, Mason. Oh, no. I know, Mason. Lewis? Before you... Lewis? Lewis? I know, yes. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Is it Ian Dead Lewis? Uh, no, no, it's um, it, maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> right then, let me just get it. Let me just get it. Oh, God. And Tom said there's another one I'm going to play as well before we get to you nowhere as well. Oh, no, Tom, please. Anyway, mate, it's nice, nice to see you back, mate. Oh, uh, cheers, mate. How you feel better? No, I'm doing good. Yeah, fuck it, Billy, you can sing on my next project. Holy shit, it is like Freddie Rose from the grave. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Sorry, Billy, I don't want your strawberries and I don't want, want your strawberries and definitely not your career. <laughs> 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 Rest of your lasagna isn't this time, Billy, and not the food type. Well, I don't think we'd be living very, very <laughs> wise. Oh, no. <laughs> right, this oh, is what no, you have. No, no. Right, this is what uh, Yabba sent me, and it's for you, Lewis. Lewis misses his trains and want to chugger that booty on the new Tyne and wear Metro. He got caught up at Gateshead Station. <laughs> uh. Right, and we've got fifth, just over 15 minutes until you know what, so we may as well discuss about West Ham tomorrow. Chippers, are we confident for tomorrow? I think we'll win. Uh, I'd like to be caught, I would be, but I'd like to think that players are going to be up for it. Um, the first game back after everyone's having national breaks and the win puts the pressure on all the teams around us. So I would like to think the players will be up for it in the fact we're at home as well. We've got to go out there and perform because if we don't, I'll be worried for the next nine games. Um, mm -hmm. We've got West Ham at home on Saturday and Everton at home, which you should be getting six points from. We've got no excuses for it. If we don't mm -hmm. get six points, I would say it's disappointing. And I would question if we get even in the conference league if we can't beat up six points after by by well, time quarter ten on Tuesday if we haven't got six points out of these two games, I I I, I think that's our season done because the keep the win two games keeps we going. We can't two win two Watford. games. Two on Watford. Ooh. If we can't get six points out of these two games, where well, season's done, unfortunately, because these are games that are winnable. Yep. Yeah, I absolutely agree, Chippers. Uh, Billy, can we win tomorrow? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think it'll be a high-scoring game, though. I don't think both defences are very good. Or, mm -hmm. certainly, um, um, you know, they've been conceding goals. West Ham like to play a little bit like Wolves on the counter. 
uh, don't want possession as much as as we have. So I think we can kind of do what we did to Wolves. Actually, I think it might be a similar kind of game, and mm, they have a very dangerous, very dangerous forward line. I've got to say, behind Antonio. But I think if Bruno performs to his best and doesn't get yellow card, I think that's really important. The yellow cards now, you know, get through these next three games, and there's one more after that, and he's he's free then. Yep. But if he can stay clean for the next three games, you know, I think we've got a chance. I think I really do, and I think we'll beat the West Ham tomorrow. We could do. I mean, they're going to be without uh, Alvarez, who's serving a two-game suspension because of 10 yellow cards. Yep. Caduce is apparently rated doubtful with a shoulder injury. Yep, yep. I mean, he's, he's the danger for me, Cudus. I mean, Very much. if Phillips plays, um, is, uh, Lewis, do you think we've got a chance? Because he's had a terrible start since joining West it all, it all depends how we play. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Hey, he's about to have a good game, or isn't he? He's about to have a good Probably. game, or isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I like guess that's the only the case. But I don't feel I feel confident. But don't feel confident. I think we might just, as I said before, I think we'll get a point to to all. You think it's going to be not a, a one where both teams? Should, I mean, West Ham, did, not a bad team this year, but I think there's a lot of for West. There's a lot of West Ham fans as well, particularly Chippers, not happy with David Moyes a lot this season as well. Considering the money you know sounds like they'll be higher in the league. Don't know why they can't play them for the win a trophy last season, didn't they? I mean, you know, it's, it, it, yep. it's the way they play, though, isn't it? They're very, very negative, aren't they? Yeah. With all the plays they've got, with all the skills they've got, they, they just counter-attack. That's it. Typical mm-hmm. David Moyes fair, think, really. Yeah. I think they'll play Paul one week and then the next week they'll get back out. <laughs> yeah, very inconsistent as well. Yeah, here comes. Hey! Hello. Glenn well, Hughes I'm... is in the building. Oh, yeah, Archer, we'll get your thoughts on England first and let us know your thoughts for West Ham tomorrow. Um, well, England was absolutely shit. Obviously, I watched the game on Tuesday. Boring old England. Same old Southgate tactics as usual. Yep. Pickford in goal. It was shit. Um, and... Like, I, did, I didn't see what the game. That was that? No, like... not me. Sorry, that was me. Sorry, that was me. I, I thought someone that. farted online. <laughs> that was me. No, <laughs> oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't watch the game on Saturday when I played Brazil because I was out. So. Oh, I thought that you didn't really miss a lot of that one, Archer, because it was terrible as well. I. Uh, I mean, Bruno was good, though, wasn't he? Bruno had a fantastic game. Oh, he um, did for Brazil. Yeah, absolutely. But he, he controlled the game like he was there. He was like, he's just, he, he was class, man. I know that Viniscus Jr. is a really good player, but he got, he didn't seem to put his chop opportunities away, did he? Did you see him fall over the ball in the corner? <laughs> I did. I... <laughs> the pace he showed, though, because, uh, the pace he showed though to get uh, was it walk away, walk away off injured though he skinned them there like I mean walk, totally walk as a fast man. That's, the, that's, that's the one that placed on the dirt, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah maybe Vinicius Vinicius Jr. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm disappointed. What I mean, I'm disappointed. That Jeff's younger brother scores for Brazil, like, but you know, move on, mm. Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Jimmy, uh, <laughs> no, 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 Jimmy. He's not alive anymore. The other one, man. <laughs> Yeah, we're not too much to worry. It's a possible Tottenham result. It's a must win game. If you don't win, I think I'll be, I'll be under massive pressure. He certainly will be again. 6 2 2. If West Ham come up by coach, we'll beat them. If they fly, I think we'll still no, struggle. They flew, up me. They flew up the nice. There you are. I just don't think we want the Conference League bringing very little money for the amount of effort that the team will need to put in hammer in our efforts in the Premier League thoughts. It's Europe oh, for me. On, I don't, I'll... It's a trophy. It's West Ham and trophy. Trophy. West Ham I think Villa. Play, I, think Villa I think Villa. I think Villa. I think Villa will win the league. I'm gonna. What are you doing, what Lewis? Copyright. I'm he, getting a phone call. Sorry, oh, he's getting a phone no, call. Fair enough. Copyright. Back control. Copy shot. Copy shot. West Ham fans are wankers. Like. 
win tomorrow is a must. We pull three points back on West Ham and could go above Brighton Wolves as they have games for Liverpool, Liverpool and Villa. They do. Evening, gents. Good evening. I hope you're well. And have a great Easter. Delighted the real football is back. That international break was a ball fest and put you to sleep. So he was. Pacato should have been sent off. Yep. Definitely. Brazilian journals crucified Bruno, though apparently, I mean, they're asking so much questions. He's not going to say much. Want. He, he, he literally sat in the, in the number six role, stopped most of it to come through, and mm-hmm. then set him off on the attack every single time. Three yeah. key passes, one for Piquetta, the you know, the, the one trick shot, which is about the best thing he did, Piquetta. He yeah. had a fantastic game. I do yep. apologise for that. No problem. Uh, they fought so much on this channel, Arch, after watching a few stories, I got pink eye. True story. You're lucky you ain't got brown on. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> Good for Bruno to taste a win at Wembley. 100%. I said you lot copyright Hannah as well. Yeah. Uh, thoughts for uh, West Ham there tomorrow, Arch? Uh, did you say, can we win? Uh, yeah, I reckon we've got. I reckon we've, we've got a chance of beating West Ham tomorrow. Um, you know, obviously beating them to beat Everton on Tuesday, but I'm 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 highly confident on the tune that we've got a chance of beating West Ham. Like yeah. for me, like I know there's a few people that uh, doubt in the conference, but. Uh, I find, I think we're I think we've got a, a strong strong chance of uh, finishing eighth. Anything yeah. anything anything can happen. Seventh um, is a possibility as well. Uh seventh is still a possibility as well. Yeah, it is. Because you you, you see the fact that um Aston Villa are still in the conference, believed or not, if Aston Villa do win the conference this season, then there's another five spots for the Champions League next season. Yeah, could well be. This, I think Villa yeah. will win this. I think Villa will win this. It should do. Also, yep. they say if, Man City team, win, if Man City win the Champions League, they say if a West Ham near Europe, aren't they? Liverpool yep. as well. Liverpool if as they well. Say Liverpool, West Ham win the Europa, Villa win the conference it could actually go down to 11th place european football mm. in england maybe could maybe do yeah no that'd disrespect. Be, that, that, that would be crazy if 11 teams from england actually can't get you're a <laughs> no disrespect to the conference but other than premier league teams in them it teams are awful but i wouldn't mind being exactly. there if we could go in there win so, it. I would so you disrespect it because it's a free trophy then the day if you say it like that <laughs> but, if you, like, but that's it i don't understand it's called the, the Europa Conference League. A team from yeah. Israel plays, and that's not even in Europe. Well, I'm just going to play another one. What Yabba's just sent me. So oh, no, just meet yourself again. again. Just, just bear with oh, me a moment. Oh. <laughs> Why? It, it's for me again, isn't it? I can tell. Oh dear me! I'm watching the I'm watching rugby. We mean rugby? No men's. <coughs> yeah, who's, who's playing? North Northampton versus Saracens. 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 Mm-hmm. Northampton are winning seventeen thirteen. What? Do you? Do you have no way or something? Right, I'm back again. So I'm gonna oh. upload this one. Uh, <laughs> it's enough for me. Uh, so Archer have no way. Do you do? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 he's in his. I'm here, yeah, man. There, all... He's in his. No, what are you doing? You're the toilet. No, I'm in my room. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I'm in my room. Oh, yeah, no, just yeah. Got it for the last. Is losing the final. Oh, that was yeah, it was. Scorn looked like a high kite in the NUFC TV training video today. Hope he get confidence from England duty. Hopefully, he has as well. Right then, I better get this one uh, that uh, Yabba's just sent me. Oh, and Yabba being Yabba, you know what? Well, that's what I do with the on. Wait, hold on. Where is it? Uh, Here we go. Right. (laughs) You know what Yabba's going to be like, so here we are.
For God's sake, please be respectful to Mason. He got a hard life with supporting Cardiff City and wears Sunderland hot pants with a wide range of period sauce with you chip as. Oh, Jesus left. Good old Yabba. <laughs> Oh, Billy, you're washing it first, like. What? I thought I was Billy Ocean at first. Billy Ocean? For me, since I got jizzed in the face, I was like, what? <clears throat> I used to think that life was only true in fairy tales. Oh. Until that first hello, until that first smile. There you go. How many cons are moved? It's off system. Oh, no. Jim. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, are we in a different room now, Archer? Yes, living room. He downstairs. was in the toilet there. Like, I'm definitely sure he was having a whiz there. Like, I no. sure he was. What I was doing, Chip, was I was knocking my PlayStation off. I was in my room, knocking my PlayStation off. Mm -hmm. Oh, not the one off. Not the one off. Not the PlayStation off. <laughs> Would you rather have Southgate as manager for another year, yes, or be stuck in a lift with Billy after a fiery curry? Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, God almighty. Ah. Well, you, you see, Paul, Paul Gallant would say that, you know, we'll have to look at this logically. And go from there and see what the DSSS see. Um, yeah. we go from the there. Gets tough, Here's the thing. Gets uh, tough, I make me pudding. <laughs> Billy Ocean sounds like the Dead Sea. Is Archer reshooting Blair Witch, says Ian? <laughs> what? <laughs> the Blair Witch. <laughs> oh, good God almighty. <laughs> how, many, how many food picks you got today, Pete? 538? Uh, 25 tonight. Oh, Jesus. How many of them are dick? How many of them are dick picks? <laughs> oh god. Oh Joe, I'm gonna quit you off his PlayStation. Oh Jesus. <laughs> um but the bad news is, guys, uh, show's not on next week, unfortunately. Oh wow. Because not? um because I'm going down to Fulham and I'm heading down the day earlier. Oh, so I'm heading down. So I'm, uh, so I'm heading down to the capital city <coughs> a day earlier before the game. It's strange well, that I mean, Spurs and Palace is cancelled because of the tubes and train. They mm -hmm. all live in London, and yet Newcastle have to go to Fulham on the same day when the train strikes and tube strikes are on, and Arsenal got to be played. Is it definitely tube strikes yeah. on it? I think on, on Saturday, yeah. <laughs> on all of the lines, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Arsenal will be playing at home as well next week, won't they? Because well, they'll Man City on Sunday. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, canceled, awesome. but they canceled the Spurs Palace game because of the Chiefs and Trent, but Newcastle still have to try to stand to fucking full. And this is also Southampton, you know, Forest are playing Spurs. Their game's been cancelled. Oh, that's it, Forest Spurs, yeah. Well, yeah. it happened earlier on the season, or didn't it? We played Brighton on the day of a train strike or something, and there was another like Brighton and Palace got cancelled earlier on the. The Palace game got cancelled early on the season as well because of it. So how does yeah. that work? Yeah. We, we get the bum, we get the bum deal, and this is also what annoys me. Right, I, actually, I'm just looking at Billy. Um, the tube strikes are actually on the Monday and the Saturday, the on Monday the eighth of April, and the Saturday the fourth of May. Oh, it's the week after. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this is also what's in, this is what. Aye, that's why Space has got cancelled because that was going to play on Monday. Right. And that game's now going to be on a Sunday at six. It's seven, six, seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even is Thomas is uh, Billy is uh, too much strikes on strike. Billy is correct. No, it's um they're not there. Uh, the next different day. It's the start of the tube strikes is the mm -hmm. Monday the eighth of April, and there's also another one on Saturday the fourth of um, May. So it's not. And, um, what, what camps are was... both in London? Yeah. Is it not? I can't yeah. help it tonight. Yeah, so the tubes are still running yeah. for next week. Yeah, but um, so you write that in your diary so you don't go train spot on me. Yeah, but then um, for the LNER <laughs> are doing an, an industrial action next week as well. So I know um, that's why yeah, I'm was... head, that's why I'm heading down the day earlier. Yeah, so. yeah, be all right. 
So yeah. Yeah. So no, no. when his train doesn't come. Oh, no, oh. for God's sake, beer. Because <laughs> Lewis is <laughs> um, you, get, you get that person shouting out, don't you, on the tannoy when you go to the train station? Don't stand too near the track, for you might get sucked off. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> you do. Is that so? Yeah. So we're um, saying the one person that stands close to the tracks to get sucked. <laughs> um, um, because all the tables should know me as well. Yeah. We're playing Crystal Palace on a Wednesday night. Yes, we are. It's not live on TV. Oh, uh, Tom's be. still going down. I'm going down to Fulham. Train is still on, but I had to switch back. Now get the Grand Central back at 7pm oh. to Mackerel. Uh, oh, uh, Jesus. I'm going to go back to the Wolverhampton. Sorry, it's very comfortable. No support for me. Greedy bastards. Also, Reva striking the Northumberland the day of the Spurs game. Yes, right. right then, time for you know what. 25 picks tonight. Bloody hell. Train picks, yay. Here comes the first <laughs> one. And, oh. <ooh. laughs> yes, oh. the first. Right, this one. Oh, look at this coming. The last time we played in London, there'd be an evening game for West Ham. Get a 12.30 kickoff total BS. Yep. Here's your first one. <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Sausage, innit? <laughs> we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Save that. Sausage. Right. No, Royal Union St. <laughs> Galois. Belgium. Yes. I'm a bit worried about that, you know. If there's a massive hole on that, he's next to Paulies. I'm a bit worried uh, about that. Mate. For a fiver as well. Fuck that. Fucking hell, what's Paul Gantt? He's not bad for a fiver. That, that rebel looks like a smash of teeth. I mean, look, it's... it's, it's <laughs> I don't yeah. know <laughs> No, Bia. Fucking hell. Fuck oh, no, oh, that's Scotland. That. You can't say that, man. Who <laughs> champion hard and sick champion? <laughs> that's it. Right. I think Paul Glam would be that, mate. Uh, right. Uh, next one. Oh, God, Bia. I mean, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Tackles. Tackles. Oh. Oh, here comes Lawrence. Um, Lawrence, hey, Lawrence. She's on that tackle already. Yep. Did you miss oh, wow. catch the food pick so far? Uh, which which one's this? That's the first one you missed. <laughs> okay. Um, like what's the price in? Fiver for that one. Mm, no, thank you. What's that stuff under the sausage? By the way, it looks like. Ew, what is it? It looks like it looks like onions. Does it maybe onions. I don't oh, think it looks like onions. Like onions. It's like, it looks like fucking tuna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, right, um, this is the other one after that. Right, Ronald, tackles. In... Ronald, that's a really bad comment. Uh, right. Tackles in you, we all red bulls. <laughs> uh, for 11 quid, they cost. Yeah, I can show that well, three tackles that, 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 with a rip off. Well, three tackles, that's... I mean. We prostitute nah. it's funny, he's asked. That's about three pounds. 66 pence per tackle. What the fuck's the lemon got to do with fucking hell? Right. The line. <laughs> yep, yeah, I don't know. Uh, right, next that one. Yeah, so uh, that's a definite no for me. Nope. That one's on the tackle, one. isn't it? Okay, next one. Oh. A mix. They call this a mix grill saved at Adelaide. How much? 10 30. 10 30. Yep. Yes, oh, that's all right. Actually, you were getting North Korea. That's I'm a yes for that. Yeah, I think I would as well. 10 34, quite a lot in there. So, yep, definitely for me. Okay, next one. Oh, fuck me. Is that someone's fucking flower clippings? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone's been doing the garden. There's not that nice gardening, is it? But the chicken tackles at Detroit City FC for 11 quid as well. No, 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 no. thank you. No, definitely not. Where's that? Paul Galancy? Paul Galancy's no, yeah. right? Oh uh, definitely not for me for that one. Right, next one. Oh, who's, who's having good education F there? FC like, Cincinnati, yes, fries. Korean fries, Korean fries at FC Cincinnati, and they're a tenner. Korean fries. Korean fries. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, this one I said, I said, I don't understand this about America. The court soccer and 11 teams in the MLS use FC in the name. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> must be Paul and Martin. Oh, well, the, Yan- the Yanks know fuck all today about football, yeah. let's be honest. But anyway, no. that's uh, no for me for that one. That's a no for me as well. Definitely no. Absolute okay. dog shit. Paul and Martin. Next one. Cottage pie, a kid of Minster Harriers for a fiver. Yeah, I'd have that. Fiver. Yeah. Maybe. I think I think I might have that. Yeah. I I would, it? You know what it is? Is that 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 pie's been um been all over there? I'm sure it was Old Landshark boss. Oh Jesus! But the bloke who made, who made it first actually passed away not long ago. Yeah, the bloke who made that pie passed away. He, he, he was what? famous for doing it. Oh, what? Okay. What? Right. Next how's one. That, how's that? How's that like? You like the actual bloke who made that die? How's that? <laughs> no, because no, because they do play in games this league, you know. Yeah. Right. What? Next one. Jesus, that looks sad. Oh. Curry chips at the Republic of Ireland's National Stadium. That's sad. Six quid like for like that. Where's the curry minutes. sauce? There's barely exactly. any on there. Where exactly. is the curry sauce? They should be good at chips being in the potato country. Potatoes! Just like uh, a football team, isn't it? No, thank you. No, How no, much? Definitely. How much, Pete? Six quid. Six fuck quid. Have a laugh. Oh, Stephen, <laughs> man. Me fucking way. <laughs> Stephen. Stephen's comment. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, it's combo rules. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck. Fucking hell. Right, uh, next one. Oh, please try Yabba. Oh, oh. oh, Jesus. That's raw. That uh, that, that's the one I took as I was at uh, Newcastle Blue Star last week. What? Christ almighty. Did you hear it? Yes, I did. It was fine. What? Are you sure? How yeah, much was it? Six quid. Oh, I think I'd have sent it back. What? Yeah, it's, yeah, good. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Pi, you put too much sauce. Pi, you took you put too much uh, sauce in there. Were you not doing um, some busy stuff? That burger's pink. Still got a bloody pulse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was fine for me. <laughs> saved at your castle blue store, and I beat Sun yeah. and West End one 0 last week. Beat them back home. Yeah. That, that tomato sauce looks runny. Other than be more thorough. Jesus. Okay, next one. Jesus Christ, Pia. Yeah. Oh, what the fucking hell is that? This is Germany, I guess. No, loaded mac and cheese okay. with a can of IPA Columbus crew. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that Hitler's that ashes on some wish. cheese? Is that the smallest no. fucking portion I've ever seen? I want to get the carbon bag something. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, save Yabba. the Columbus crew. Uh, I wonder what Billy is saying when I say the price. Get ready, Billy. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, go on. Twenty-two fifty for that. Oh God, that's, that's ridiculous! <laughs> that's the no, best worst Arsenal. A teaspoonful of fucking macaroni and a can of beer for twenty-two quid. Shove that right up the Yankee asses. Hi, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter, you should like we should get Billy this to say that. Record it, send to you. If he's not here with the price, you should just play that thing, saying them saying that. Yeah. 22, uh, 22 euros for a pile of Hitler's ashes. Shocking. Oh. No 22 great no, British so comment to put that. I have seen it. I've seen Rolls as well. <laughs> I mean, Tom, uh, it's far too big to be what you're saying is. <laughs> right, next one. What, what the oh. hell is that? <laughs> right, the call, right, they call this sour milk cheese. That oh, meatloaf. God. Saved at Eintag Frankfurt. How many German penises have to be scraped to get that on the fucking plate? <laughs> German what? How many German penises have to be scraped to get that on the fucking bowl? Uh, three quid for that. No, thank I'm you. I'm still not I'd rather, I'd rather nope. eat my own reptile. 
Oh, aye, that mm. doesn't look nice at all. Oh, um, next it's one. Reflux. It's got flies in Steve. it. Steven. Steven. Oh God. It looks like it's um, got bloody worms on the black stuff. Looks like it's worms. Oh. Dirty bastards. Right, <laughs> right. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fenty sausage. Go around the corner, I'll give you one. They call this a long, foot long <laughs> cheese cranky <laughs> ass. No. A cheese cranky. That's a double. 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 <laughs> the Cranky's worst wingers, by the way. I, I, do, I do know that. <laughs> that is oh, true. Yeah. That is a true story. The Cranky's yeah. were swingers. Yeah, they were. Uh, who said yes to that one? No. Stephen Wood would say yes. Double no thanks. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, if, you had that, if you had yeah. that as an appendage, you could piss up your own arsehole, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. If you put that in the room, uh, it'll come out of my mouth. Um, oh, definitely, uh, I'm not sure if I would pay the price for that one. Dildo, dildo. Right, next one. Tim, as I see Bia's comment, no, e. Tom, I... no, no, Tom, that's bad. That's a bad oh. comment, Tom. It's funny. Oh, God. Uh, right, here's another one. Oh. This one's been sick. Chili What's cheese. the red stuff on this? Well, it looks like tomatoes. It looks it's like tomatoes. Or, or peppers. Chili cheese fries at Ebb's Fleet United for six quid. No, I'm not saying that. I quite like chili. That's a maybe. No, mm, I'm not sure. No, I'm not just, for me. That one looks, looks like someone's had a night on the curry and just shot on a tea. To be honest, I mean, I don't think I'd pay six quid. Yeah, the, the tomato skins, if they are tomatoes, look fucking oh, pretty ropey. God, so. Andrew, yeah. Yeah. That's a no for me. <laughs> uh, definitely not for me. Next next one. Ooh, that looks all right, to be honest. Chicken, Chicken and chips with, uh, chips uh, with cheese. With cheese rolls at or oh, DC United. Oh, Jesus. I, I know I'm gonna, we're going to get another one yeah, out of Billy here. Oh, go on then. Uh, saved at DC United. £28 for that. Fuck off. <laughs> no, it mean. looks nice, I've got to say, but 28 quid. Are they taking the piss? Billy, yeah. really you should have you done, done it louder. Well, no, it actually That's... looks quite nice. I mean, it looks... I guess the can's involved in it, but 28 fucking quid. That's what you get. Colonel Sam. Colonel Sanders will have a that way because he enjoys it. Oh. And that's what you get from, a, from an American team owned by the Swansea owners. So, hey, Yankee bastards. All oh, right, next one. <laughs> You've got another thingy. <laughs> oh, no. Big sausage. Oh, Christ. My Whoa. God. Pencil dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Save that, Bohemians, nineteen oh five. Uh, it's I've got Republic. a mangina. Uh, I've got a mangina. Three thirty for that. Three thirty. Yeah, I'd give that a go. Yeah, why not? Who let the sugar out? Who, who, who? Who let sugar out? Who, who, who? I mean, oh, yeah. Stephen. For three quid, I guess I'd eat it. Yeah, <laughs> not so, for it. <laughs> Oh, as comes another one as well. Oh, oh. What? is that a cheesy dog? <laughs> yeah, chili cheese dog at Houston Dynamo for ten fifty. Fuck off! Mm, Jesus. No, thank What's you. up with the bread? Is the bread being toasted? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's got gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, <laughs> Billy, was that you off last week? Possibly. Katsu <laughs> dirty fries. <laughs> dirty high, that's right. Where's, uh, the, yeah. where's the fries on that? I can't see any. Katsu sausage. dirty fries, sausage, katsu curry, cheese and fried onions. Oh, fuck off. 
it, no. F- EFC Sudbury for a fiver. Yeah, I can keep it. Dirty bastards. Mm. <laughs> yep. Oh, curry sauce and cheese. Yeah, absolutely. Dirty bastards. Right. Uh, next one. Uh, Chippers, that's more like it for you, mate. Oh, yes. I'm in the toilet. Travel burger and chips at Dover what? Athletic for six fifty. Is that brown stuff Gra- as well? Yes. I think that's gravel brown stuff as well. Crabble burger. Oh, crabble. Yeah, gravel. Fucking hell. Crabble burger. Mm. Filth. Love that's it. it. Looks vile. That's oh, what, that's that's what going to the football nice. matches are. That burger. Type like that. I don't know. Like, yes. That. I would eat that. Looks like yes. Suella, oh. Suella Bradman's yeah. fucking pussy. That does to me. Oh, oh <coughs> okay. So can you pair flaps? <laughs> Here comes another. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. That's Is a riddle. Cock that. Pull pork and <laughs> pull pork and cheese hot dog at Grimsby Town for seven oh, quid. Grimsby. No, that's an actually riddle. Cock that. I would have that. I think I'd have I am not paying seven quid. Oh, there's plenty of meat there, isn't there? <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's coming. Yeah, you would say that. Uh, yeah, first, yeah, I would. Right, next yeah. one. What is that? Ooh. Is that a pork pie? It's a turkey, pork, and stuff and pie. Ooh, yes, oh, yes, nah, please. It looks like pork. Looks like All a pork right. pie with AIDS on the top. Oh, oh nah. Hmm. That's stuffing at, at stock. Stocksbridge Park Steels FC for three fifty. Oh, definitely. Sort real... me up. Give me two. Yeah, go on then. <sighs> no, no. Turkey and stuffing, chippers. You saying you turn down turkey and stuffing? Ooh. I would. Yeah, I would turn that down because it looks, it looks bars. It looks grim. It looks like <laughs> it does look. It, it looks like it's being made from a pound shop. Be a Viking. What? That's the funniest comment I've ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh no! Oh, I just feel he's coming that. <laughs> oh Jesus! Chicken <laughs> pot. Here's the next one. Oh, oh is, that, God. is that is that to your point, Chips Lewis earlier? Who <laughs> <laughs> who who's made that curry sauce? My <laughs> dears. That, that curry sauce. Think you had diarrhea. Paula Radcliffe made that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where that went. <laughs> yeah, oh. I went too far. Did anyone see yes oh. and all that one? No, no we no. are using that. No. Next one. I think the next one's Mr. Chadwick's bar. Yeah, it is, yeah. Right. This will probably be a stupid <laughs> price. Uh, Save that. Atlas FC. It's a Mexico. It's only 280 no. for that, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, to be fair, Mexico is quite cheap. The pork yeah, land meat? Not quite cheap or cheap? What do you mean cheap, cheap or cheap? No. Cheap. Like you buy one, you get one free. I uh, yes, yeah, well. What is one? Well, definitely made that to the Mexican peso. Looks like a teenager acne, that. Um, um, just work it out. It's like basically one great British pound is twenty-one Mexican pesos. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Checking the pesos. Right, uh, yes, is that free right, cooking next... last? Oh, Jesus, okay, next one. Oh, pull oh, pork that. burger, pull pork and gravy roll at Saint Brilades for four quid. Yes, definitely. Yeah, why not? Looks like the remains off the last off the jaws for the mats or not mm. for me, though. <laughs> 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 Oh. This boat's not big enough. What? <laughs> the, boat, the boat's not big enough. <laughs> uh, hi, Tony. Hey, Tony's in the live chat. I can see. Okay, uh, next one. <laughs> oh, what the hell? New, lo- New York loaded fries. Oh, that uh, reach. We're fucking hurt. He's in gonorrhea by New, lo- New York loaded fries with pastrami, <laughs> mustard, crispy onions, and pickles at Barnsley FC. Fuck me. Barnsley. I, I, mentioned gonorrhea. 
How much? New York lady for Barnsley. 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 Looks like the Twin Towers. It's 10 quid. Oh, for that. oh Billy. Mm, I don't know. Billy. You just see that. <laughs> Um, can I just see one can I see one request? Can people stop taking the mic out of me in the chat now? It's gonna annoy you. Oh, it's a bit of banter, Lewis, man. I know it is. Lewis, still... Lewis, you started it all, man. There you go. There you go. It's only a joke for me and Mason. <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> that's a no for me for that one. Absolutely mm-hmm. no. Fucking dick. Next one. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Is that a badgie? <laughs> Or samosa, a, a chana masala and samosas at Brentford. Clapton Clapton CFC for five fifty. Aye, someone's got the clap all right with that. Jesus, no thank I'm you. Not, I'm not. No thank you. That's disgusting. Uh, not for that. No, oh, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> well done, Tom. That's a good comment. Near uh, the last one. Is that oh. West Ham? <laughs> yeah, West Ham. Be the, the, uh, <laughs> the Brooklyn Big Dog, they call this at West Ham for seven. <laughs> the big Dog. <laughs> Lewis what, has just seen the train go past the window. Oh, for God's sake. It, it, looks a bit, it looks a bit like Big Moises Chopper. Mm. <laughs> Is that a leaf? Oh, gee, that looks like, yeah, you see the leaf. I don't know what in that is. It looks, it does look like it, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> it's a gherkin or something. Yeah. It's a gherkin. I think it's, I think it's the trying to jazz it up with a bit of fucking herd or something. But it's fucking hot dog daft cunts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it banana? Is that, is that mustard or banana? <laughs> I can't tell. It's just Alf Garner turning his fucking grave seeing that. Yep. Anyway, that's them all for tonight, so I better get through these oh, comments. Can I, can, I, can I just say something? Go on, that, then. That's, uh, that's what Jared Bourne does on his um, night name with Danny Dyer. Oh. Oh. Well, the man the or woman one. Woman. <laughs> we'll call the same. Ah, it's a bit fucking where, backward, Pete, where do you get all the bloody dick pics from? Honestly, you've had candy few sausages at least. <laughs> It's called Footy Scran off Twitter. Or X, or X now. Is that... Or X now. Do they get porn after 10 o'clock at night? Come on, then. It can be any time. <laughs> right, then. Here we go. Sun is like a pot of after 7 o'clock. He'd be blown away, electric shock doctor, as he'd be a vibrator. Chipper's dog, no. Brother of the long sword. Oh, be a man. Oh, no. No. Good grief. Princess Charles erection that really looks a bit raw. Too much trumpet polishing causing friction. <laughs> Dwight York slap and Katie Price to see you next Tuesday. Oh, oh, beer. That's now. <laughs> now, it's should be Father Jackson. Yeah, wax. We had a comment like that last week or the week before. Must in tomorrow. Granny Fanny and her triplets daughters. Oh, Jesus. No chance. No, it's definitely not. I'm just about to have tea and that tune art looks maybe warm. 11 squid. That's what Lewis thinks is the other side of the glory hall. They see it have that. Mixed grill. Yep. Instead of that tidy box, the Chinese bushy bush. Looks like gone waste. Dan Ashworth's gone. That's olive oil after Popeye has eaten her out. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. But I'm starving for a pizza, load of fries, veg meal. Where's the chicken? Mighty wins latest football take. <laughs> Long wall cuttings box, Mexican vomit, and a tin master's underpants, cream fries, dogs, bollocks, skin khaki to the fries. That looks okay. No, yeah, go on. Then I'd have that. Mason's love child, chips's knob cheese collection. Yeah, looks good. Cottage pie for a five away. No, there's the fucking curry. Uh, Camellia Parker's bowler, love hole. Oh, <laughs> a chance chips with the Wogan's ancient blot. Should have some Irish <laughs> being of that. Look, shite. Where's the curry? Aviva Stadium for Mason's Pipe with Green Snots. Ugh. Seagull shits on your chop, mate. Where's the fucking curry? That's raw, Pete. Po- oh, Jesus. <laughs> that doesn't look good. That's looking shit at Blue Star. Yeah, it was there. It's had Lewis's blood off being rimmed by... T- <laughs> oh, my God. That's dark as you are. Oh, 
Look at all hoods just off on your chips. No chance Katie's prices bleeding on the chips. That's a no for me. Oh, be ah. Nah, nah, nah. And it comes for you. Donald Trump's brain. No chance. Looks like someone's trying to rip Priest's brain. You just said it again, Andrew. That's Jenna Jameson's ass after a good. Oh, no thanks. A bomb is on a box. A big for that, Tom. No wonder there's one in the stadium. They can keep that. If if they said that, that would be twenty two fifty. I'd give it right back. Okay, right, boy. That's a romantic meal made by Sinclair. That's the stuff. <laughs> Oh Jesus! She's not Santos. <laughs> Only clubs was scraped. That one mill fucking shit. No, who has a slung on this? Chip is a knob. When oh my God! There's Pretty Chip Price. Gone. She beats. Thought he's gone somewhere. Mass destruction. Oh, be a... no, Tom. That's a bit over the top. I, I know. That's the thing why I said. Oh man, yeah, but the one lesson learned from that was never try and give a Ray fucking foreplay. Yeah, Jesus, be a... Looks crap. No Lawrence, bomb you, it. you enjoyed the match today? Aye. Yeah, Nigel no, Frost is one of infection. Admit, oh, oh bloody shit. hell. Only <laughs> 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 uh, six sessions. That's a job by dimension. Oh. Do you see like you get to fuck? Not for much that like. No way, fuck that. The Sophia hot dog by Chippers. Oh. Sausage. Bush's cock, sick in a train, no. Jizz's cocky special. This is included. <laughs> End of the spin. Oh, someone coming back. Oh, Chibis is trying to get back in the show. There he is. Canal, Jerry Hunt's vomit. Yeah, have that. Cough raising. Uh, dishy, Rishi Burger. Fried, my ex's chunk flavor. Good grief. Richie Sunak's ass cheeks, chips as an artist. Artist. <laughs> Pull pork with ST cheers. Or the Queen just. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Kitty Price is flipped in a bun. Jacob Reese's Mogs Pen Isle infection. Fuck. <laughs> no chance, no. Mm. Uh, no. Uh, go on. I give that a go. Cookie Mexico. Yeah, they have that stuff. Yeah. Granny Pan needs stuffing again. That's a bit hefty. Yeah. But yeah. G. Lewis had it again. Not for me. Looks nice. Take your pie. Pie and chips without a toilet sauce. A curry of skin on it. That's the Dixie's No thanks to the curry pie and chips. And hell yeah. Rajmus Hoyland. Katie Price. Paul Andre. Fucked. I'd go with that. Oh, here comes another guest. Is he here? It's Tony. Tony. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tony. Yes, the pizza. Bonjour, no. Hey there, pizza. Tony. How are you going, man? <laughs> well, what's with, the, what's, what's with the glasses, Tony? Hell, they make you look Auntie Blair from the late. All right. Eagle Brooks. Um, yeah, Auntie Blair from the late. That's been the fuck. Lewis after shagging the steamer train. Meat must have no chance. <laughs> that pulled pulled pull looks like call boxes. Fossil turned. No chance. Looks crap. Then keep that. Reminds me of Ty when that was 50 down the drain. Smashed it. I just finished me show. Of balls of ball sweat, Paul Gallant's toilet. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> thought it was Mackins in the red and white shirts. That's fucking spewing. No to that, choo choo. Tony, after he went to Luton, a bird show with a Mackin Slayer. Nice, no dreadful pickle. That's Mark Noble's dildo. I can stop. Oh, on oh. Jeremy Ramen. XL Bully. No thanks. With oh, bloody hell, Julie. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, them. Oh, you for sure. Okay, then. If you, I think if you dip Archer's beer in hot water, you would get rapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sort of thing you would give a cat on the bank. Yeah, even Tony. Uh, what did you think of most of them food picks, Tony? No, some coke has this week, wasn't there? From what I caught of them, anyway. Um, yeah, there was some. Well, some corkers on there, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Sausage fest. Because I was just doing a preview, so when I came off, I, I just caught them, yeah. I bet some of them were horrible as well, Tony. Some of them I wouldn't need to know, not at all. <laughs> anyway, good to see you, good Tony. In the Twin Towers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm gonna say a dad joke, right? I got I, I found this on one of my friends' profile. It's more of a dad joke, but I'm gonna read it out anyways. Let's see if anyone can um if anyone's it's gonna not my profile, it. really. No, it's not chippers. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna Joseph find Fritz, it. I mean Joseph Fritzel's profile, Pete. Nope, 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 nope. These dad jokes are fucking worse. Right, here it is. Here's the dad joke. You ready? My daughter was doing history homework and asked me what I knew about Galileo. So I said, "Of God, he was a poor boy from a poor family." <laughs> yes, I got this. Yes, this one, yes. I thought, Galileo. Do you Galileo. know what I thought we were gonna say? I thought we were gonna say. I thought we were asking about who Galant is. Never mind Galileo. And another one I found online. I got told as well, which was quite funny as well. Right, is this this one? Right, two buckets of sick walking down the street. Suddenly, one stops and starts crying. The other asks, "What's wrong?" And he says, "Sorry, this place makes me emotional. I was brought up around ya." Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, hope we charge a little bit of in the way for visiting London clubs. Hmm. Anyway, Tony, um, are we glad international breaks over? Yeah, it's nice to get back to Premier League football, or is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you say know, that. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> you say that, three o'clock tomorrow, we'll get beat. You think fucking bringing England games back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, look, I couldn't believe what Tanji said in the chat tonight on my show earlier. I just did there. Um, yeah, we was going for 4 0 West Ham on my show it. yesterday. Who's that? He, he put 4 0 West Ham on my show yesterday. That's what he said tonight Ew. as well. He says, I've just got no confidence tomorrow, Tanji. Tanji Balls. Oh my Jesus Christ. What's the with you? What's the matter with you? You're right, Lewis. Did you follow through? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying this to Peter. It's like. Lewis farted on your tone. <laughs> Tony, hey. I have, I have sent it to you. Okay, well, I'll look. Lewis farted very loudly on the show earlier. Did he? He did indeed. Oh, all the excitement because the train went oh, past the window. Oh, yeah, Lewis, man, that's gruesome. So Lewis is Choo -choo. changing from train. Basically, Lewis is changing from trains to the buses now. <laughs> Oh, As he woke up in a ghost somewhere. I want to have you, Bella. Yeah. Anyway, what's your thoughts of going into West Ham so, tomorrow, eh, Tony? Yeah, um, I was just going to say that to Lewis, sorry. So instead of him being on platform three at the central, he's going to be on stand H at the uh, Hay Market station, bus station. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what his favorite bus number is? 69. Oh Jesus! Christ. Yeah, one the, on top. Instead of going choo choo, you'll be. Oh. Instead of going choo choo, you'll go beep beep. Oh fucking hell, man! We're going to take a ride on the sixty nine. You see, Kelly <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting bloody really sick now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's not even Lewis. <laughs> it's like um, a train. It's banter, Lewis. Banter. I know it is. Um, so when we did, Captain, anyway, let's cross our bridge when we tomorrow, get to it. Keep the... Look, I don't want to. I don't want to look. The way I see the team playing tomorrow is that the way Eddie's going to set the team up. I would like us to go out there and win. look. I'm saying we're going to win this two one tomorrow, but it's going to be a difficult game because um, <laughs> because it's Sorry, it's going to be a tough game. There's a comment from Bia. <laughs> oh. More. Right, I'm going to read this out. Sorry, uh, Tony. Oh, yeah. Mason used to have trouble keeping track of the girls in his West Brothel, but then he bought a sheepdog. I wonder if I had the living fuck. I wonder if I had the living fuck. God, if Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Living How much of a fight, like? 
Lewis grows the Crusader, 69, the Rogue Ghost of Nowhere. What's long, hard, and full of semen? Yeah, I've heard that. It's a cucumber. Oh, no, it's a submarine. A cucumber? I mean, after I keep your braces, how did it be full of semen? Yeah, it's a semen. Where did I get the cucumber from? I'll tell you what, Pete. Peter Andre and Katie Paulus were in bed together once and he had a cucumber up her. And about 10 minutes after he'd done it, she started going, oh, oh. And Peter Andre goes, what's the matter with you, Katie? She said, it's that cucumber repeating on me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so Marine, I, I, I couldn't believe I said a cucumber. <laughs> I think someone's going to clip that. What type Definitely. of cucumbers? I don't know. How I said, where did I get cucumber from? Uh, Sandro Tonali reps have, have, has decided in October to, to self-report to the FA about the bed. Who knows what a 72 well, that's, Anyway, That's interesting. What, what, what your bonition says there, because if that's the case, maybe we'll get away with it. If he's come clean on it himself Ooh, without them knowing. Could you could do, yeah. That's very interesting. Thanks for that news, uh, bonition. That's good. Uh, how do you eat your cucumber, Pete? I'm not a fan of cucumbers, oh, to be mate. honest. Full of semen. I reminded that joke. What's pink and very hard? Go on, then. The Financial Times crossword. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking, Mr. Blobby? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blobby, when he sees no lemons. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Tell you what, I tell you what, Tony, you're looking pretty pink today. Yours is just the camera. Probably just the camera, mate. Yeah. Apparently, Beatles says the so. Undertaker here hates cucumbers. Apparently, yeah, he likes repeating you now, didn't he? No. Pretty probably here um, to all things. To be honest, that's why he's an Undertaker. There's an idiot. There's an idiot. Somebody sent me a video of somebody like with a chainsaw. Trying to start it. Okay then. That's gripping that leg. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to start a chainsaw, but never mind. <laughs> it looks like. What pictures are you watching, Lewis? <laughs> what site is that on, Lewis? Chainsawporn.com. Yeah. What porn site? <laughs> no, it's on Facebook. Oh, okay now. Yeah. Not my Facebook. Gone. If he's training his mum with a big fog on. What's pink and smells of ginger? Fred Estes cock. Oh. <laughs> Fred Estes. <laughs> this is Dingy Dell looks like it all. <laughs> Dingy Dell. Uh, oh, God almighty. What's the show become now, unfortunately? Anyway, let's... Lewis Chainsaw Massacred, says Julie. Oh, for God's sake. Can you imagine Lewis with a chainsaw? Jesus, I, I wouldn't be running too far. I wouldn't be worried about it. Just put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine Paul Gallant uh, with a chainsaw. Oh, oh God. He's trying to clean his teeth with it. <laughs> Anyways. I think, he needed um, cut, I think he needed to cut his toenails. Like, Jesus, the state of them. <laughs> Uh, BS says I got that's kicked out of the Sea Life Centre. Uh, I got kicked out of the Sea Life Centre today. They really don't like you fishing in there, do they? Oh. <laughs> Those chains said, what's pig and hard? What's pink and hard? Pig with a flick knife. Okay. Poor Glance girlfriend. Anyways, <laughs> what do we make of that? Uh, some idiot Mac and post a tweet about Sandro Tonali. Says he should oh. be in a jail like Adam Donson's did. I mean, oh, what? what the stupidity that is. What an idiot. He said something about Adam Pearson, didn't he? No, I think Adam, Adam Pearson. No, I was... re- Adam, tw- Adam sure? Pearson retweeted oh, I'm it. I'm sure he says says... about Adam Pearson and that. That makes them talk for fuck's sake, Mason. Um, hang on. The... No, I'm Adam... sure he said something about Adam what... Pearson and that. I don't think like, you did. Know I know Adam Pearson retweeted oh, it. I've got, I've got what uh, Adam said, but he actually quote tweeted it. He said, mm-hmm. "Pretty sure grooming a fifteen-year-old child is worse than sticking a five-fold accumulator on Sky Bet." There you <laughs> go. There you are, well done, Adam. That's, that's like, that's like equating Fred West with someone that's got a parking ticket. 
Yeah, exactly. Mate, <laughs> 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 I do apologise after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, thanks, Galant. On the other day, if we were going to tie off Philippine 48, you said he could because you all have dingly dangly but Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'll have to watch Milo. that way, boy. See, he'll go for a thing, is Galant will go for a meal order tie. Tie your brain, it'll end up with um, be hung like a donkey. It'll be all in luck, then. I've got matching balls. I think Chivers is gone. All back as he goes Fred West. <laughs> Not with Chippers. <laughs> <He's> a... <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gone. Oh. I think that's the first time I've seen him lose it like that. What's it? What's tickled your fancy to chippers? <laughs> the next, the next time the lady boys of Bangkok come to Newcastle Arena, they should send Paul Galant a ticket. Oh, <sighs> oh God, all mate. What made you laugh, mate? It was just you saying up here, Fred West is tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's right, Jim. He's just lost it a bit there. Yeah, I think I've stopped for you. <clears throat> oh, my God. Um, anyway, I put, I put a comment on the other day on a post. Yeah. And I'm, I'm pleased now my phone is not notify me of every te- every second this was going through. I mean, it ended up, <clears throat> I ended up getting 704 likes. Three people reposted it. And it was just like, you know, I was sick of my phone just bleep, 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 bleep all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, what it is is the report from Paul Tierney about when he sent off Stephen Reid, the Nottingham Forest assistant manager. Yep. And he said it was for his continuing use of the F word and the C-U-N-T word as well. Yeah. Uh, basically, what Stephen Reed said to him was, he says, you're nothing but an F and C-U-N-T. And he said, you need to calm that down. And he said, no, he says, even when I was playing, you were always a C-U-N-T towards me and the rest of your crew. He says, um, so he basically went on and he kept saying, all you referees are doing in this Premier League, he says, if we're up against a big top six team, you're all F and C-U-N-T's. Mm-hmm. And he said, are you going to continue? And he went, yeah, I'm going to continue. You're all a bunch of C-U-N-T's. And he said, right, okay, red card off. <sighs> and and all I put on for my comment was, he's being honest. And I got 704 likes for that. Wow, 700 say, odd likes. But is Stephen Reid not That's being honest? Yes, he is being honest. But is Stephen Reid being right? What he's saying? Or do you think he's been, some people say it's a bit over the top while he's done the referee, but, you know. He's just seeing it as it is, isn't he? He is, but when you're in a position of power, you just don't do it, do you? No. We well, yes, shouldn't do, really. Thing. But he is for what he did. What? Oh, bloody hell, Yabba. You know, what, you, know what the <laughs> you know what the frustrating thing is, right? Referees can do but, what they uh, want and get away with it. We can't see anything the referees. I had a Russian Uber driver the other day. His name was Pickup and Drop <laughs> Off. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I mean the thing is oh Pete, you go back the first game last season, Paul Tiani done us over there as well. Yes, when Elliot Anderson's goal should have stood. Yeah. One fancy is It's a two two now, is it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Just shit. He has a question for everybody in the ch- in right. He has a question for you all. Right. Leicester City are now right, getting charged you? with this PSR. Yep. Right, mm-hmm. and if they come up to the Premier League, they're going to get a points deduction. Obviously, if it's all found against them. Now then, obviously they got beat today off Bristol City. I know people have said they played awful. I didn't see the game to be honest, but no, do you think well. now Leicester are going to deliberately play shite so they don't go up, so they don't get the points deduction? That's what I'm thinking, actually. I yeah. think they are, but, but definitely. Have you heard the AFL said if they don't get promoted, they are going to give a point deduction? Yeah, but they can make it open. Yeah, but when you get, 
It's better off getting it done out of the way with. I've been reported three times to swearing on a building site. Nosy see you next Tuesday. Should be E.L. Wigan. <laughs> Don't you think the beer to- uh, building site is the, the place that you know you can swear? <laughs> yeah. 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 Comedy goal this show certainly is. 2-2 now in the Leeds versus Watford game. It certainly, certainly is. Um, I can still remember when I was at school. He, one of the teachers actually swore in the dining hall. Oh. <laughs> But to be fair, who's won the dining hall? Bloody hell. What do you the call an Egyptian taxi driver? Tootin' Kamut. <laughs> what do you call an Indian who's lost his front door keys? What? Uh, Gunkadin. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> God almighty, man. Uh, everybody knows this one. What do you call a talent, a, 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 a Spanish football player with no legs? Gracias. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you didn't exactly give us a chance to answer it, did you? You said it all in one. I know, sorry. It's an old one, baby. It's a funny oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell, Tom. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why didn't the platypus pay the taxi driver? Because you only had a $1, one dollar bill. Good grief. <laughs> oh, dear. I see uh, Pakistan are being banned from future World Cups because every time you take a corner, they build a shop. Oh, oh yes, no, no. yes. And, oh uh, no! Yeah, that one. A corner shot. Um, what else we got? Um, any others I can think of? What's Stephen Hawkins' favourite food? Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Megabytes and microchips. Oh, God, I thought it was way worse. Paul Grant has that as well, do you know? <laughs> crypto bytes and crypto chips, that's what he has. Oh, Ronald, please. <coughs> oh, bloody hell, Ronald. <laughs> oh, good grief, man. Fat the Whitbread got stopped at the, the airport and uh, she had 10, 10 pound of cracking in knickers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Billy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone, dude. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see when she was competing with athletics as well? She had three legs. <laughs> <laughs> she went to the doctors and she said, "What doctor said, what's wrong with you, fat man? She said, I've got hairs in my chest. So now far do they go down to it all the way to your bollocks? Oh! <laughs> Where all these come from? Oh yeah, you guys fan series are playing the charity match today. Yeah, and the beat the loaded mags. Oh, they never invited me. I'm loaded. Uh, Who did? I'm loaded, maybe. Um, and you see, you guys fan TV with Lee and that. We're playing the Lord and Mags oh. today for the Alan Sh- the news money for the Alan Shearer Centre. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I saw something with that, but I think Magpie I Channel was there. I know Rennie was there. The the Newcastle, Newcastle fans say he won. Oh, well. The Lord and Mags. <coughs> two great channels, Newcastle fans TV mm-hmm. and Lord and Mag. Yeah. yeah. And also Magpie Channel as well. Great channel. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, brilliant channel. As well. and, and Tony's you know channel as well. <laughs> Ronald. No. <laughs> Yeah, you know I've heard that before. Russian... That's quite dark, <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what you call a Russian prostitute? Oh, oh. no. Nick has on enough. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I went I went to a German prostitute once. This is a long time ago. Uh, and she goes, oh, we're about to walk out. She went, uh, what about the marks? I went, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if it's real or fake. This was popped up. 
Oh, I, I, this one's coming to me head as well. Uh, it's quite yeah. horrible. Football. Bloody hell. Well, Man City have the money coming What's in. What's the same Lewis? Because we can't really see it. Football fine finance experts say Man City can spend five hundred million pound per year under new Premier League rules. The fact is, Man City have got the money, and that's a problem. Yeah, but they don't bring well, through, through um, revenue, do they? Well, they've got a lot of sponsorship deals. Well, so that's the thing. The sponsorships have they overinflated their price? That's our point of it, isn't it? That's what that's what they're up for. That's what their crisis is about: is inflated sponsorship deals. Right, here's, here's this joke I'm gonna tell as well. I don't know why I'm gonna say it. <laughs> <clears throat> right. What's another name for coming inside a woman? Dunno. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Loading the dishwasher. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear me. <laughs> hey, the other day, Pete. Yeah. The other day, I went. I went past the cemetery the other day, and I saw them carrying the coffin. And I, and I, I'd been doing a bit of shopping. I come back two hours later, and they're still walking around carrying the coffin. I think they lost the plot. Oh, <laughs> God, man. <clears throat> oh, bloody hell! Where's all these jokes come from? I just. The I one over something that was a bit offensive. I see all the now. See it, Lewis. Oh, you off, Lewis. Lewis. Quickly, Lewis, score right. prediction for the moral 2 2. Okay, right. enjoy your train ride this work, mate. Okay, then, Lewis. <laughs> we'll see you later, then. <laughs> choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Woo hoo. No, it's 59. 69. He's off to watch oh, Thomas. The, he's off to watch Thomas the Tank Engine attack. Oh, fair enough, so, there, Julie. That's good. It was just I found this on one of the things. What you call? What you call a fella what? from Dundalk with four hundred girlfriends? A what? farmer. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so yeah, I wish I had four hundred girlfriends. Jesus. <clears throat> Don't call me a farmer, though. Yeah, any others I've got. Do you know about that Irish farmer that uh, decided to make a dildo field, plant dildos, <laughs> and and now he's called up the council. He's got he's got three thousand squatters. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. Here's another one. <laughs> the old man, that's a hot of a line and a lifetime fan from the zoo. Could you? Here's another one. Been through it a few times, right? <laughs> Why did the vampire break up with his girlfriend? Because oh. if Fanny tasted like garlic. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, to be fair, you know like, like, I'd bring, doesn't like garlic. I'd bring up with that as well. That's smell like that, to be honest. <laughs> You're dead gassy at the minute. You hear about that plane crash in Sunderland today? Oh, a two-seater plane crashed no. into a graveyard and the Sunderland, the Sunderland people have dug up 658 bodies. No, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> over the top, right? <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> an Irish farmer. He has another one for you. An Irish farmer's walking along the boundary between his and his neighbour's fields when he spotted his neighbour carrying two sheep in his arms. Uh, Paddy he said, um, "Are you going to share those sheep?" "I am not," he replied. He says, "They're both for me." See, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Lewis would shag him because he's a sheep shagger, isn't he? But never mind. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> God. oh Jesus! Got a chios. Itchy ass. Worms. 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 <laughs> I don't know what oh. it is. It's not crabs, I can tell you that. Is he, what, how do you confuse a Manchester United fan? Show them the map of Manchester. 
Why is the Irish capital the fastest growing city in the world? Because it's Dublin, tampons, Dracula's tea bags. Good grief. Mm. <laughs> That's great. There's some other jokes, oh. but I'll tell those when we're backstage because they're quite over the top. Those ones. Nothing to go over the top on this show. Mm. Well, we've got a <laughs> few minutes. School, you know, you know why men were put on the earth, don't you, Pete? What? You know why oh. men were put on the earth? Because if I beat, I can't buy around the drinks. And... Oh, Tony. Oh, <laughs> Tony. I can never be gay. I can't stand men not to be back as well as women. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what's his show become now, unfortunately? It's come the joke we'll come, show. We'll come, yeah, we'll come to a lot of jokes coming the end of this well, show. Well, we might as well have a laugh because if we get beat tomorrow, well, I'll be bloody dooming and glooming, won't we? Yeah, Absolutely, it. Sam. Absolutely. Well, I'll be paid off. I'm glad I'm at work at four o'clock, so I missed it all. Oh, aye, absolutely. Yeah, I'm at work on Tuesday night as well, so I missed that game and all. <laughs> Uh, well, in regards to the news on to Sven Botman, he's had his knee, knee surgery now. Too little, too but, late. It's too late. But, yeah, <laughs> he should have had this a lot sooner, <sighs> Billy. Well, of course he should. Um, but I think he was trying to keep himself right for the European Championships, which is yeah, it's hard on him. He yeah. really has. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't understand no. this. I don't understand how a football club. I mean, the old thing last week, he was uh, he's going to need an operation. Well, surely he can have it next day. It's a football club. They're playing the top dollar for these surgeons. Have it. Why well, has got to wait a week for it? It's not like he's going down the NHS for it. I don't understand this. It's, 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 it's a so as if he's I got the week, me, I mean. I would happy get rid of this medical stuff come the end of the season. I don't think it's their fault. Something's, yeah. mm. not, this, not, Something's this not right. But even Something's so, not right. I know Botman rejected yeah, the surgery, right. but... The medical staff should have went in a bit harder from it and says, nah, sorry, but you're getting that knee surgery. Think, there's other issues that have gone on. There is other <clears> issues, <throat> yeah, you're right. But I mean, there was two different... But it's just reports, injections, bollocks every time. I mean, you're giving long stuff every time. Well, that's what's that going to do to him? Well, that's down to the managers as well, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. Just... Can I just oh, ask by the way, well, it's right? to do with the uh, Vicarage Road. Can I just ask that's as well, right? Why does why does why does it seem odd that house seems to to me seems house uh, drop bottom in it a day, but he was looking to do it before a day. Like he spoke about it before the national break, didn't really just said yeah he's in Jaddy, should have had an operation and people said otherwise, but the day he's just full blown drop a minute there. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, he said he said long stuff in his injury against Everton away last year, right. which was what last April. Yeah, you know yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been like nine months, and he said he needs an injection for every game, and now after two weeks off, he's suddenly cured. Don't Something's not right. Don't Something's not right behind the scenes. Eh? <clears throat> Thing is, so yeah. you can't. The problem is, you can't force a player to have surgery. But you know, the, the medical right. staff the should have said, should... "Well, he's not playing." But yeah, but thing is, if, should be, if Botman had be sorry, if Botman had that surgery, he might have only been out for a few months. But now he's out for six nine months. So if he's out the full nine months, which is December, then he's got to train. Yeah, by the time it. he comes back, it could be towards the end of January. So yeah. it could be it could be twenty twenty five before you see him. Yeah, it could to well me, be. the need the need to be strong out with him. Simple as that. They should have sat him down and said, "Listen, yeah, this is yeah. why you need the surgery." And even if they've got a PowerPoint presentation of players who've had ACLs and damaged them even more, just to ram home the, what could happen to them. And the fact yeah. is now we could have ruined them, ruined himself as a player. He's like growth and everything because of it. It's, something's not right, man. It's yeah, but like, two different <clears throat> two different specialists gave two different opinions. One said he can, yeah. he can rest and be okay, and the other one said he needed operation. So, you know, yeah. I guess... Why well, you dropping your Christmas gin on the floor of an international disaster to the fall of Turkey, the breaking of China, and the eruption of Greece? Oh, God. Good evening, Gordon. Hope you're well. Medical staff want second and replace next season. I know a lot of people said... Uh, I mean, a lot of people are saying as well, that if you look at the way we're having these injuries this season, it's like Eddie Howe's last season when he was at Bournemouth. It is, yeah. It is in a way, isn't it? Hmm. Do you think tomorrow, Pete, right, you'll, you'll beat the match tomorrow, so will Mason and so will Lawrence. Um, do you think tomorrow, if we get beat off West Ham, do you think the crowd might start turning? 
Oh well, mm, but because think so. we could end up twelfth. We could I think we some have. have. Oh well, I'm being serious <clears> in all our will and all. Mm, because the problem is Chelsea's got Burnley. Get in. Chelsea's got Burnley. Wolves have got Sheffield United. They're going to win them games. And yeah. oh, sorry, Fulham. Sorry, you've got Sheffield United. They're going to win them games. If we lose tomorrow, they'll be above us and we'll be twelfth. That's it. I hope we we win tomorrow. The problem with specialists is that some are traditional, some are more radical and cut the edge <coughs> to get to the very bean and then be best in the field, number one, number two, or three. I am speaking from experience. I agree. You call it? I heard that one as well. The thing with the medical <laughs> stuff is, though, it was early in the season when Eddie Howe was giving reports when players are going to be back. And it's like a few days, and then two weeks later, uh, another couple of weeks, and then six months later, they're still not playing. Yeah, you know, so it. what medical reports is Eddie Howe getting? Or, or is he getting medical reports? He's just making up on the spot. Exactly. We don't know. Well, then, two hours I mean, have come now, so we're going to wrap up now, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. But what we'll do is we'll get score predictions in. I'll start with you, Archer. Oh, I'm going on 2 1. Sorry, 2 1. Two, one. And your goal scorers? Uh, Isak and Gordon. Fair enough. That's a good point from Tom's just made there. Yeah, I think Sir Jim's Park is very different to social media. It's Sir Jim's Park, you think everyone backs on social media. You think everyone wants him gone. Some are going 2 2. Neutral today, as always. Cheers, Julie. Going to brace as well. Anyway, okay, cheers, Archer. I'll put you in the background if you want to have a chat backstage. Very nice, boys. Lawrence. 2 1, Newcastle. Your goal scorers. Gordon and Isaac for us. I'm going to go with Bourne for um, West Ham. Fair enough. Okay, Lawrence, I'll put you backstage if you want to have a chat backstage. All right. Uh, <coughs> Chippers. I think we'll win 2-1. I'm going to see Isaac and Gordon as well. Fair enough. I'll put you backstage if you want to have a chat backstage, Chippers, for a bit. Okay. Yeah, uh, a bit. Uh, Tony. Uh Lawrence has, Lawrence has read my mind, I think. Um, I'm going to say, I'm saying 2-1. And going and Isak for the goals and born for them as well. I said that on my show earlier. So either Lawrence was watching me or he's just read my mind. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, Tony. Uh, what's, uh, it's all Black and White TV got coming up next. <clears throat> uh, tomorrow morning, 11am. Come and join me for the pre-match. Um so you can join me there and I'll have the team news for you at uh, half 11 as it comes out as well, um, as always. And then obviously, as I've said on my channel tonight, because somebody asked, are you doing a watch along? I said, no, but get over to TTR because they do the best watch along. There Paul and go. Billy. Hey, there you are. Anyway, cheers, Tony. I'll put you in the background. No worries, mate. We'll have a chat backstage. And Billy. Yeah, I think there'll be plenty of goals. I think the defences are the worst parts of both sides. Uh, so I think 3-2 Newcastle and I think Gordon will get goal and Isaac will get two. I don't care oh. what's worse now. I don't know. And what's uh, TDL got coming up next? Then? Obviously watch long tomorrow then there'll be Paul's live match reaction afterwards. Well, it won't be live, it'll be recorded but we also do our reaction on Patreon. A review on on Sunday, Review of Everton, a preview of Everton on Monday and live watch along for the Everton game Tuesday night. No problem. Okay, Billy, I'll put you backstage. I'm Thanks very much. And get yourself over to Tony's for the pre-match and then over to us for the for the watch long tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, guys, Tony, I'll check you in a bit. Okay, the guys, we're going to wrap up there. It's been a hilarious show tonight. It's what the show's always become. So there you are. Been spotted tonight. What a laugh, absolutely. Seven out, you bastards. Agree, Ronald. Castle free 2-1. Yeah. As well. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Tony was from Conway. Five went. Who? He said that I don't know how Tony was on company because he said Billy was uh, Tony. Oh. I, I fancy know, three when you cast Bruce like he's going in for West Ham Bequeda. We've got our score predictions in, so do check out our preview if you haven't missed that. Anyway, guys, me and Mace will be at the game tomorrow, so be quick thoughts after the game. I'll do the fan reactions, and I'm also going to do the match review and the play reads on the same night as well, because Sunday I'm going to do plan to do the preview for the Everton game as well. Anyway, guys, you know the drill. If you enjoyed tonight's show, hit the thumbs up. It keeps us up with search results. And, of course, please, if you're brand new to the channel, if you're not yet subscribed and you really enjoy what goes on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Free to do so, it does help make the channel grow. 
and hit that bell notification that will let you know whenever we are live or when there's a pre-recorded video show takes place on the day as well. Feel free to donate. And if you want to become a member for just 99p a month, just hit the join button um, as well, and you'll be put into the next prize draws we do on this channel. Dave's going for 3-1. Thomas, I can't start taking the gloomers. I thought that's what he called Billy. Yeah, I did. Uh, goodbye, everyone, and take care. Good evening, everyone. Well, and guys, so until next time, uh, we'll see you all later, everyone, and have a good evening as well. Hopefully, it's going to be three points tomorrow, which we all love. So until then, guys, see you later, everyone. Take care. Good night. I'll be the lads. <laughs>